Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Very happy that you are here for this message. And if you clicked on this video, this video is for you. You're aligned. This is what you need to hear at this time because we are going to talk about a very important topic today, which is do not, do not let other people bring you down. Because God knows people, I shouldn't say that, I don't want to generalize, but many people are very negative. They haven't done the work on themselves to heal and understand themselves better. So what happens? They project their negativity onto you. They're going to try to bring you down. If you clicked on this video, you probably are upgrading or have recently upgraded in your life in a major way and are continuing to upgrade and create major blessings and opportunities in your life. And there's a lot of good that's coming your way. I'm sure you can hear my little co-pilot, Manny boy right now. It's my sweet little Frenchie boy. So if you hear that little bit of heavy breathing in the background, it's my little Frenchie dog with me. So uh, I do hope you do not get distracted, but we'll stay on task. But if you're wondering what that background noise is, that's my little guy right here. Uh, waiting to go in the grocery store enjoying the AC. So nonetheless, back to the topic. If you clicked on this video, you are upgrading or you've currently upgraded or you're about to or you're making changes in your life in a positive direction. And this is your reminder that people are always gonna try to bring you down, especially when you're in a time of growth, when you're in a time of expansion, when you're improving your life in many different ways. There are going to be constant criticisms from other people, constant judgments, constant interjections, constant uh, negative energy and looks coming your way and judgment from other people. Again, this is your reminder to not let any of that negative energy affect you or bring you down in any way, shape or form. But how do we do that, Pierce? How can I allow or how can I not be affected by the negative energy of other people when they're directly focusing or targeting me on a conscious or subconscious level in all these different ways? How do I let that energy not affect me? So we're going to talk about that right now. But it's very important. Again, as I say it, do not let these other people bring you down. All they're trying to do is keep you trapped in the same cycles that you've been in and be in misery or unhappiness or whatever emotion or negative crap they go they have going on they're just trying to keep you in that vibration why why they're trying to keep you in that vibration because they're unwilling or unaware of themselves are unwilling again to do the work on themselves to improve their own vibration and life circumstances. So instead of using that energy that they project onto you that's negative and transmuting that into a positive force and saying, okay, well, I need clearly need to change my life. They don't understand that they're being triggered. They project you because they want you to stay small so that they can feel better about themselves. That ain't got nothing to do with you. That's the first way that we combat allowing other people's negative energy and from bringing us down understanding understanding that one what's happening in this process why are they doing this they're doing this because as you're upgrading and improving your life and they're seeing it it's triggering them and reminding them of the things they're not doing for themselves or their lives they're just simply not putting in the work so instead of again using that energy that they're projecting onto you that's negative and saying, I'm just gonna use this energy to improve my life. They project it onto you in order to keep you small because it gives them gives them an excuse to stay at the same level. And again, there's no judgment from us because most people are unaware that they're even doing this, but they do it nonetheless and after day after day, especially if it's something like a work environment, oh my God, it can get exhausting until you strengthen your own inner will, your desire, clarify your vision, and start to transform and shift into that man or woman. I know, buddy, it's hot in here, but we got the AC on. 
until they realize that, until they decide to work on themselves, which is unfortunately many more people now, but not enough people because they're not aware of it yet, but they will be. And that's why you're watching this video. That's why I make these videos. That's why we are here to raise the consciousness as light workers, to shed light on their darkness, to help them become aware, to work on themselves and say, hey, you too can do great things in your life instead of just hating on me for doing great things in their life. That's what's happening. So people will always try to bring you down, especially when you're upgrading, moving up and or doing well. Why? Again, because it's triggering them and reminding them of what they're not doing. Don't let them affect you or knock you off your center. And how do we do that? Now we get into it. We understand. We understand why they're hating on us. Your progress, your upgrade in life is triggering their unresolved issues. And instead of them looking at their own issues and healing them, they project them onto you. You got enough of your own problems. Don't take on the problems of other people because that's really all that it is. Other people judging you and trying to bring you down is simply a projection of their own unhealed trauma onto you. Do not allow them to affect you. They're projecting their negative energy onto you instead of looking at themselves and doing the work. That's all there is to it. So don't take it personal. And how do we not take a personal understand that their judgments have nothing to do with you? You're simply the trigger. And as you're the trigger, you become the target because it's uncomfortable. They don't want to look at themselves. So instead of look at themselves when they're triggered, they say, oh, you're the trigger. Well, you're the problem. It's all your fault. You're doing everything wrong. And you're like, dude, I'm just doing me. I'm just trying to live my life over here and improve myself, man. If you get upset with that, how's that your problem? It ain't your problem. It's just their, unwill their unwillingness to deal with their own problems. They're being projected onto you. When you understand that, you won't take things personally and you won't give them their, your power and allow their negative opinions and judgments and energy to affect you because you're not giving your power away because you understand that they're just being triggered and projecting their BS onto you. It ain't got nothing to do with you. You got your own problems. They got their own problems. Don't make their problems yours by allowing their negative energy to project you project onto you because you're triggered. they're triggered. Don't. It's just a simple choice. Just say, nah, man. Setting boundaries. Okay, enough of this negative stuff, man. Or confront them. And that's when you really see when you confront them and say, hey, what, what's with all this negative energy? Why are you projecting all this stuff onto me? Let's talk about it. Why are you upset? What is it that I'm doing that's making you upset? Let's talk about it. And you'll see. They'll run away. They'll go, oh, no, oh, oh, because they don't want to confront it. And when you step into your power and force people to be responsible for their own words and actions, especially people that project negative energy onto you. These are the same type of people that complain about everything and have a problem or opinion about everything negative in the world, but do nothing about it. When you confront these people, they run like the most terrified little animal running away because they don't want to confront it. You're coming from a place of inner strength, opening up a space of discovery of enlightenment, an opportunity for them to grow and learn and understand why they're doing what they're doing because you don't want to deal with this stuff. They're going to run. So again, you just let them do their thing and just go by on your boat and you're driving in your own car, man. Don't let anyone run you off the road. You're in your car. You got a right to be in this lane, just like they got a right to be in their lane. Don't let them try to push you off. This is spiritual warfare. This is what we face every day, all the time, and it's not going to stop. So knowing that, well, what do we do? First, we combat this by understanding what is going on here. The second thing we do, spiritual warfare. Understanding that this is an energetic spiritual war going on underneath the surface, and they are trying to bring you down. So what do we do? We train ourselves just like we would as if we were going to some type of physical combat. We train ourselves by meditation, going in nature, cleansing our energy, centering ourselves so that when you are confronted by these different energies in these situations, you are fully present, you are fully centered, and you can set your boundaries and be in your power and communicate clearly. 
and let it be known that you will not tolerate this type of energy around you. You simply will not. And if need be, again, you confront them. This is the setting the boundary. Step into your power. Do not allow yourself to be talked down to. Do not allow yourself to be abused. Do not allow yourself to be affected by the negative energy, opinions, and judgment of others. Understand, train yourself by being centered in your own being and your own energy and your, no th your own thoughts. You know who you are. They have no idea who you are. You know what you've been through and the work you've put on yourself. They don't know that and they don't care. So why are you wasting your energy on people that don't care about you? Because they certainly don't. That's another way to look at it. You're, if you're someone who is affected by someone else's negative energy and judgments and opinions, you're giving them your power. But what you're really doing is you're let pe letting people that don't even care about you and actually don't want good for you to affect you. They don't care about you or your life. They don't know you. They don't know what you've been through. They don't know what you're going through. And they don't know where you're going. They don't know you. They don't care about you. So again, you're going to let them take your power and affect you in a negative way? Hell no. We don't do that. You're a light worker. You're a light warrior. It's what you're here for. This is what we signed up for. You're going to face a lot of hate from a lot of people you already have and you will continue to. It doesn't matter. Just like a warrior in training, we get stronger as we go. Each battle we fight on a spiritual and energetic level makes us stronger, makes us more resilient, makes us more aware, gives us experience, allows us to handle each situation with grace, with ease, from an elevated consciousness. That's what it is. So protect yourself energetically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Uh, crystals, go out in nature, meditation, limit your time around these people, or just kick them out of your life if you can. You know, again, you're up to big things. You're on a grand mission. You have a great vision for your life. You're on a grand mission. You have a divine life purpose and a mission that your soul signed up for. You don't have time and you certainly don't have energy to waste on people like that who are trying to bring you down. You don't have energy or time to waste on negative people and their own unresolved BS. You got plenty of your own work to do for yourself and others. So don't spend time entertaining all these freaking negative Nancys. Don't, just simply don't, it's a choice. They're all just a distraction. That's all this is, is it's just a distraction to take you off of your center, off of your mission, off what you're trying to achieve. They're trying to drain your energy by having you focus on things that don't matter. That's a distraction. So they can take you off your vision, take you off from you doing what you're here to do, what you want to do with your life. Don't let them. They're just trying to stop you. It's just a distraction. Don't let them. Protect yourself energetically. Protect your dreams and your vision with privacy. I made a video about moving in silence. You protect your vision. With privacy, you protect your energy by limiting your time around them or, um, di again, different modalities, energetic protection. That's like a whole series of videos in and of itself that I'll have to do. We can talk about whether it's crystals and meditation, understanding that if you are an empath and you absorb other people's energy, how you can tune into their energy and just observe it without absorbing it. Energetic protection is a whole nother deal. But protect yourself. Why would you spend an ounce of energy on anyone or anything trying to stop you or slow you down from your dreams? Why? That's the question. Why would you spend an ounce of energy on anyone or anything trying to stop you or slow you down from your dreams? They're judging you, they're hating on you. Just ignore them. Just ignore them. Because the second you entertain it and allow them to take your attention away from what you're doing, they're winning that spiritual warfare, that spiritual battle. They're draining you of your energy. They're distracting you. Don't let them. It's a simple choice. As the saying goes, lions are not affected by the opinions of sheep. Let them do what they do. We're not concerned with that. We're focused on what we're doing, on our life's vision, on our dreams. We're staying in our lane. Anybody or anything that is not in alignment with that or trying to help you move towards that doesn't get an ounce of your attention or energy. It's quite simple. It's quite simple. And you may have to be ruthless, and that may be a growth step for you where you gotta cut people off and be like, dude, you're outie, man. I can't do this anymore with you. You're gone. 
You don't get to be around my energy anymore, man. Every time around you're just positive or you're hating or you're saying negative BS. I ain't got time for that, man. There's no judgment on you. You live your life, but I just don't want to be around that energy anymore. That's setting a boundary. Don't let people mess with you, man. You know who you are and you know where you're going. Do not let them take your power. Just don't. Refocus on your vision, your dreams, and let the universe handle the rest. Let go of fear and anxiety of being judged by others. Who cares what they think? Let go of the fear. Let go of the anxiety. Who cares what they think? Because the quote I'll leave you with today, I've said it once, I'll say it a million times more. Those that mind, they don't matter. And those that matter to you, they don't mind what you're doing. As a matter of fact, they support you. They're happy for you. Those are the people you get to be around. All those other people, man, don't let other people's negative energy bring you down. It's a practice. I'm making this video because I need this reminder too. I am, uh, and I'll share that personal situation real quick. I just started at this job and it's a great job. Man, how fast time goes by. It's already been about four months, but I'm about to get promoted. And there's a lot of people there that are upset that I'm being promoted so quickly because they've been there for longer or whatever, or whatever they have in their mind. But it doesn't matter because my intentions were clear when I came in here. My attitude, my intention is clear. Every night I, I work at this place, what am I, what is my intention? My intention is to go in and be professional and great at what I do. To create positive communication, team cohesion and harmony with all the people that I work with and to have a high level of integrity and create positive mutual relationships with everyone I work with. And again, just be great at my job and be professional. That's been my intention every time I go to work. And because that, that energy, the energy that I bring in which I operate with and how I interact with people and show everyone respect, regardless of what they're showing me, I'm coming from a whole nother energy level. And that's why this is all happening so quickly. And so it's very triggering to other people. There's a lot of hate being generated, a lot of gossip going on behind my back. You know what? I don't give up. I really don't. I don't even know these people. They don't even know me. Why do I care what they think? I'm here to make my money and do my job because this is a piece of the puzzle in my own vision. This is what's supporting me and helping me build my dreams. I ain't got time for all that other crap, man. They gotta go. But since I gotta work with them, okay. They're not out of my life yet, but my time is limited with them. I'm just working with them. I'm gonna hold a positive, loving attitude with compassion and kindness towards all of them. Create a professional environment and be great at my job with a high level of integrity. That's what we're doing, man. I ain't got time for anything else. You got, you know, again, if they're gonna hate on me, it's got nothing to do with me. They gotta go handle their own stuff. They have nothing to do with me. I know where I'm going, what I'm doing. So stay in your lane, stay focused. Don't let the negative energy of other people bring you down. That's what I got for you today. Love you so much. Don't worry about them haters, man. They're always gonna be there. We just get stronger and rise above all of it. Love you so much. I'll see you next time. Peace.